Hello Doraemons. Guess what today's video is about. After seeing like both videos yesterday and day before yesterday, you might have guessed what is about today's videos. We've already seen about the Python and Uniques. So now we are moving on to Java. So Java also holds 40 mark as same as Python. So if you're choosing to solve it through Java, then these questions are going to help you really well. So now let's move on. So for getting started, you might go to my channel and you can click on any of the videos and you'll be getting the like link to my website in the description down below and you can click on this link you may go to the dcs ira questions and you can go to java and before that you can if you are like writing cpa exam you can also check out the cpa questions and also the pra questions like if you want and i'm updating this nqt questions too so that the future people can have a look so now moving on to the java part so for java like i not have seen most of the complicated questions like i would say if you choose java to solve the ir it is a lot more easier for you guys because they i've just segregated them into two one is tough and easy so i've chosen like two questions to show you like what is the toughest and easiest part so now for the toughest one i'm going to go for 14th february which is here so this question i feel like it is uh like a tough one and as well as i've given you the steps and how you can solve this question and uh, it is it is not more tough it is like easy only but um the logic is a little bit complicated so you have to look into that so here they have given one not one triple one the flower rose and what is the type of grocery and the it is the price and like the stuff and they have printed like vegetables this question i felt like it is the one which is going to give you a little bit tough so this is the question which i explained first about the structure and all so if you are like planning to solve the ira in java check out this video for the basic structure and i've explained like every single thing which is needs to be going um uh, should be have when in mind before solving this question how you can read this question easily and how you can solve it so as usual how i say is you have to like write this part first in your program and then you have to just find these uh pro function definitions so here they have declared to find available item with third minimum price method and uh, one more one is find the available item so these two and yeah the first one is to find the total price for the given category so i have to fix this a little thing so yeah so first one is the first total price for the given category so here they will be giving you one category and you have to print the price for the first category as of vegetables so here they've given vegetables and vegetables here it is 50 and here it is 20 and on the top it is 70 so you have to add them all and then show it here and the next one you have to find uh, the available item with the third minimum price so you have to sort these um, items regarding to their price and you have to find the third minimum item so guys this is the most repeated question in java part as i've seen they are still asking like third minimum second minimum and this uh, same question is asked on 20, 30th of april and they've asked for second minimum item here they have given like third minimum item price and they have asked there for second minimum and they have also solved this question in the youtube so you can check the question and have a look of what why it is getting repeated again and again and um, yeah so now this is the tough question which you can get now moving on to the easiest question i have the question which is asked on 14th of march so moving on to 14th of march so this question i felt like this is easy and anyone can solve it so here they have given the input so here 
uh, as like in Python, here the com input is not much complicated because Python is the easiest language to write. But whereas Java, it is even a little more complicated to write. So in this part, the input part will not be that much complicated, but the logic is uh, still a little more complicated. You, if you are having a bad day, you may get the tough question. But when you solve this, you will get a fair idea of how the questions are patterned and how you can solve them. And yeah, so in this question, they have given one not one the game name, the game type, and the type of the game. And here they're given 110. This is nothing but which is the pattern over here, the price and the discount. So then they'll be giving you game and then you have to read the function definitions. So here find the toy with the highest price. So here they have given like two find average price per category and they have also given find toy with the highest price method. So you have to find the average price per category. So you for per category in the sense for puzzles and for games, for games and then for dolls and again for puzzles. So you have to find the average price and you have to find the item which has the highest price. So this is very similar and they are very easy because uh, this is uh, considered it easy because it is easy to find the average rather than finding the second minimum and third minimum because when you look into the logic you will find like what is the difficulty in here so i've already solved this question which is available over here 14th march 2022 you can check this video out for this solution and you can find the difference between those two questions like why i given that as the toughest one and why this is the easiest one because it is average and uh, the maximum where the second average and third third minimum and second minimum it is a little more difficult to sort dictionaries you, you have to use hash maps array list when you when it comes to java it's not like python it is a little complicated in java and you have to also find the discounted price over here they will giving you a formula and you have to substitute those in the form formulas so this is a little more easy and the last one 14th of February it is a little bit tough so that is the two types of questions which I noticed for Java Java is not like Python and Unix like not most of the questions are getting repeated if I found anything in the future I'll, I'll update with you guys as so far as I've seen these are the two types of questions which is mostly getting asked and one more type is the easiest one where they just ask you to print the item by giving you some name and find the name and print the details so those are the easiest question these are the three patterns which is mostly asked in java part so i think java part is a lot more easier for you guys to solve but if you get just getting started with the coding part then don't use java you will get hit in two days because java is a lot more tough in writing part it is a structure based programming language you can go with Python, but make sure you check out those five to six questions which I mentioned in the previous video. So if you want to like uh, go for the IRA MCQ, so make sure you do well in the MCQs part. So I've also provided some of the MCQs over here and there are a lot more other things which I found as uh, like important and I have mentioned them in this blog post is too. So make sure you also check this MCQ span. So guys, please make sure you do well in the MCQ span because MCQs also hold as equal marks as SBQ. So only if you score well in the MCQ span, it will be possible for you guys to uh, get 80 plus and you can get 40,000 of incentive. And I hope you guys found this video interesting and I'll be back with one another interesting video in the next next weeks and we'll meet you soon. Until then, this is your very own Code Doraemon signing off. Keep learning, keep rocking. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye.